Nebraska Volleyball, the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament. And who better to talk to about Nebraska Volleyball than one of Nebraska Volleyball's best, Nancy Metcalf, as she joins us here on 93.7 The Ticket. Nancy, how are you doing? Hey, guys, I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? We are doing fantastic. We've just been sitting through this entire season waiting for Nebraska to get to number one and then waiting for them to get that number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament. They finally did it, even with a loss to Wisconsin on Black Friday. They remain the number one overall seed and uh, get to host all the way through the uh, the, the Elite Eight in, in volleyball. Yes, that is super exciting. It's tough to do. The season's really long. The Big Ten is really tough, so it's pretty exciting that they were able to do that. Now, Nancy, you were with Nebraska Volleyball uh, back in 1997 all the way through 2001. You were there with Terry Pettit and through the transition to John Cook. Can you let us know what what that transition was kind of like? Yeah. Um, So when I signed up and came out to Nebraska, uh, Coach Pettit was the head coach, and he is more of an introverted person. He's a deep thinker. He's a philosopher. Um, But he had always had a vision for Nebraska Volleyball. And um, after the fact, after it happened, he told us, he knew he wanted John to come back in and take over for him. And he felt like that was the best timing uh, for him to leave. So at the end of my sophomore year, they ended up um, getting John to agree to come on as an associate head coach for my junior year. And then John took over as the head coach my fourth year, which ended up being a red shirt year for me uh, in 2000. And so coach Pettit sat the team down, you know, at the end of my junior year and just said, I'm stepping away. John's going to take over as the head coach. And, you know, he said, this is not something that was an easy decision or just, kind of a fly by the seat of your pants type thing. He said, we really thought about this and this is very intentional the way we're doing it. He wanted someone that he felt like was capable of leading the program and continuing to lead the program uh, to new heights, which John has obviously done a fantastic job doing that. Now, how have you seen John Cook? He took over in 2000. How have you seen him change in his coaching style or his demeanor uh, since he first took over? I mean, he's he's got 10 NCAA semifinal appearances, nine Big 12 titles, three Big 10 championships, four national titles. I mean, did you see maybe that happening with him when he first took over? Has, has he just grown and, and exceeded your expectations? You know, I... I'm not sure that I had any set expectations for him. I knew he was a really good coach. And when Coach Pettit gives somebody a stamp of approval, you know, that means something. And so I feel like when Coach Cook took over, all the girls had complete trust and faith that he was going to be a great coach and lead our program in the right direction and and just be really the right person for that job, which I think he definitely has been. Um, I think his coaching style has changed a little bit over the years. I don't think he takes himself quite as seriously. Uh, He likes to joke around. He's always been more of an extrovert type person. So he's always, you know, checking in with the team. How are you girls doing? What's going on? How's, you know, your boyfriend, he might talk to somebody and ask how they're doing personal life type stuff, but it's all because he's such a relationship person. And I think in a sport like volleyball, where it's a team sport and you have to have that relationship with your teammates, it's invaluable to have that relationship with your coach as well. So I just think he's a great fit for that job. Nancy, from a from a volleyball player's standpoint, um, obviously, like as fans, we see from afar, we have that that five thousand foot view of they've won this number of games, they've won this many championships, they've had this kind of success. How special, as from a volleyball player standpoint, like yourself, how special has what John Cook been able to do? Is it? I mean, how incredible is this career that John Cook has been able to have in Nebraska? Well, I think it is really incredible just because it, he hasn't just had success, but he's had longevity in that success mm. to be able to do that year after year after year. Um, when most teams would say, okay, this is going to be a rebuilding year. Cause we lost a lot of talent. Yeah. He has, you know, found a way to get the most out of the players he has. And somehow it ends up being another great year, even though it's supposed to be a rebuilding year. Um, and so I think this has been, you know, a really special program as an alumni, but also just as a volleyball fan to watch um, through the years and the way that they've continued to have success, not just kind of a flash in the pan type thing, but continued ongoing success. We're speaking with Nancy Metcalf, former Nebraska volleyball player uh, and Nebraska Hall of Famer, actually. And uh, (laughs) Nancy, this this season, they have Nebraska volleyball has struggled on the road in the Big Ten, at least in conference play, quite mightily. They've, They've come out on top all of the times except for the one on the road at Wisconsin. But every road match seems to, you know, have its ups and downs and a lot more downs until the very end when they come out on top. But how important is it for Nebraska to be hosting all the way through 
the Elite Eight and be able to play at the Bob Devaney Sports Complex and not have to go on the road uh, to face any of those top tier teams? Well, I think it's a huge benefit uh, to be able to be at home. You, you don't have the travel schedule. You don't, you're not sleeping in a strange place. You're not on a weird schedule during the day. Uh, when you're playing at home, it's much more comfortable for the players. But I think one of the, for me, one of the most cool parts about this team is how they, even when they were struggling, and road matches I think are a tribute to how tough the Big Ten is. Even a middle-of-the-road Big Ten team can play you really tough. And so I think that's more of a tribute to the teams and the strength of the schedule for road matches in the Big Ten. Um, but I do think that this team, even through those challenges has just found a way in some matches where people counted them out, they thought it was done and over and they found a way to claw their way back into it and then come out on top. I think that's a huge testament to just the grit of this team. And I love seeing that. I love seeing how the players pull together and just maybe someone's having an off night doing one skill, but the other team members are able to gather around them and kind of prop them up and support them through that. And they find a way to win, which is super exciting to see. You spoke about how some people believe that this was supposed to be a rebuilding year for for Coach Cook and for this volleyball squad. And, you know, no seniors and and some freshmen playing in some very prominent roles Uh, with your experience, you know, being in the in the record books for uh, kills and, 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 you know, kills during a season in sets. How impressive has it been for Nebraska's outside hitters, uh, Harper Murray, uh, um, um, Merritt Beeson, Allie Batenhorst? How is it how impressive has it been? for them to be stepping up the way that they have been to take Nebraska from always having a solid defense to now this year being one of the leaders on the offensive end. Well, I think all three of them have done a great job and Lindsay Krause as well. She hasn't played the second half of the season for an injury, but all of our outsides have done a really great job of taking really smart swings pretty consistently. And when you're getting a lot of balls dug up by your defense, if your hitters can take smart swings and keep the ball in play, a lot of times it can frustrate the other side because they might hit a ball that they think is for sure going to be a point. And then Lexi Rodriguez or Laney Chaboy digs it up and that frustrates their hitters. And if we just keep it in play, a lot of times you can extend the rallies and that gives our team a chance to get back in system and take great swings on in-tempo sets. We're speaking with Nancy Metcalf, uh, former Nebraska volleyball player. And, you know, speaking on those outside hitters, You've got two of them playing all six rotations in um, Merritt Beeson and Harper Murray. Watching those back row attacks and Nebraska being one of the leaders, if not the leader in in uh, getting kills out of the back row, uh, is that something that you did very often or is that something new that you're noticing in the volleyball world and, and something that, uh, how impressive is that to you? You know, I think we did it some while I was at Nebraska, but we, we did it a lot internationally when I was playing after college. And I think that is kind of what Coach Cook is trying to emulate is the international game. Because if you can get somebody coming out of the back row to hit that, just gives your setter one more option and it makes the block have one more person to have to think about, which can hopefully give your hitter just that little spacing between the blockers if they're a little bit late because they were worried about the back row attacker. Um, but no, Nebraska is doing a great job using their back row attack. And I love to see it. I think that just gives us another look uh, when things aren't going right. If you're out of system, it's a set that the setter can get the ball to a lot easier. And when they're in system, it gives them one more option to be worried about as the, from the blocking standpoint. Nancy, have you, have you looked at Nebraska's side of the bracket? Vaguely. <laughs> Vaguely? Um, I, was Vaguely. Going... I, think, I think we got a good bracket. I like, I like the way it, it fell out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I was good. I was going to ask you, how how excited were you to see that Nebraska and Wisconsin were on opposite sides of the bracket so that, you know, hopefully, if all things fall correctly, they'll match up in the championship match? You know, I, I am excited, but more more excited as a fan of volleyball than because of Wisconsin having beaten us. Um, I'm confident that our team can beat Wisconsin. I think if we both play our best, we can beat them the next time we match up. And I think... The first time we matched up, Nebraska played well. I didn't think they played as well in Madison. And Wisconsin played out of their minds. They played a great match. And so I think we can beat them if we match up again. But I like having a team like that opposite so that if they do meet up, it's in a Final Four setting, possibly a national championship setting, which is where it should be. I think they're two of the best teams in the country, and they should be matching up you know, late in the tournament. Nancy, when you look at Nebraska and Wisconsin, I mean, those two programs are so easy to – talk about because obviously they play two matches a year when you look at those two teams from a volleyball perspective how much separation is there between those two programs like uh, because it feels like on any given day Nebraska could have that Wisconsin type performance we saw last week that the Badgers had in Madison 
And it just feels like whoever's going to get ready that day, it just doesn't feel like there's a whole lot of, number one, margin for error, but then also separation because they are just so good and so talented as an entire program from top to bottom. That's really true. They are really talented, and they're they're a fun program to watch. I actually got to go to the match in Madison with my daughter and some friends and their girls, and I was just sitting there watching. I thought, man, this team is really good, and I think Nebraska has that capability. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think Nebraska played their best match in Madison, and so you know, hopefully they get another chance to redeem themselves and match yeah. up against Wisconsin again at some point. Uh, but you're right. There's not a lot of separation, and, and in a sport like this, that's good to see. There shouldn't be this gotcha. huge separation between when you get the top, top teams, there's not a huge margin for error. Um, and that's what makes it so exciting is that mm -hmm. you can't go out and play a bad match and expect to win against a good team. And so it's just, it's challenging for a player, but that's like, that's what the players live for. That's the fun of it is having those awesome, exciting matches against these really tough opponents and knowing you're both just going to go out there and battle it out to the end. Well, thank you so much, Nancy, for, for coming on and joining us and talking uh, Nebraska volleyball. We're going to get you out of here, and we're going to head to a break. Um, again, thank you so much for joining us. You bet. Thanks for having me. Go Big Red. There it is. Nancy Metcalf, former Husker, uh, former USA volleyball player as well. Uh, appreciate her joining us. Uh, she played 12 years for the national team, USA 